This is the key of the paradise. My name is uh, François Pianoel. I'm working for Intel Corporation in the performance lab. And here's the crazy part. We are so well equipped in this lab that we can, you know, I want to figure out the memory subsystem speed of something. I can extrapolate it, I can calculate it. Uh, we have huge arrays of computers that I can, I can use to figure out all of those things. We can simulate. What I'm doing right now is I'm traveling a lot in Asia. Why? Because as soon as the companies in Asia heard about the recipe, they wanted the recipe. But if I give you a recipe of French cooking and you go in your kitchen alone, you are not going to make what my mom used to cook. <laughs> going across Japan, across Taiwan, and I'm sitting with programmers and I'm explaining them from A to B, B to C, the entire philosophy. And they are very, being very excited because they, they see very quickly very simple results making a big difference. And the goal is to get all of those companies that right now have OK software, by the end of this year, to have very good software. And then you don't get one tablet good, you get a lot of tablet good. We were asked to uh, go and figure out what is the edge of Atom. People are complaining about Atom, so we went and just started digging into what Atom can do. So we, we adjusted parameters of the program, we start look, paying attention to how many times we draw the screen, how many times. Uh, what kind of pixel deepness we use, what kind of all of those details that the programmer should care. And very quickly, uh, Jerome finds the right way to use the shaders, for example, of Atom to be able to fill gaps, to fill surfaces, and limit a lot of the memory boundaries issue. With this uh, one and a half years old uh, Intel Pineview tablet, so you can see using my finger I can manipulate a huge amount of data here manipulating pictures in real time I can see them your mind is not trained naturally to understand folders if I ask you when was the last time you went somewhere you can tell me probably the months uh, you can't tell me the date so if you zoom on a calendar and you get graphic clues of what was happening then you can remind yourself and keep zooming and refining what you're looking for. Here what you're seeing is a, is a tablet that has uh, a refresh rate about 60 frames per second, very short response time about 15 to 20 milliseconds. It's very, very fast. Um, what's behind this is, is a lot of things. First, it's Windows 7. We are using the Windows 7 stack. Um, we have very good drivers. We have you know, everything that is uh, under Windows. And then what we did is we basically pretend we are a video game. And when we pretend we are a video game, we actually can do a lot of things that usually you can't do on the Windows. You take the control of the machine, so because you take the control, you can get control of the touch, you can get control of what's running on the background. And by doing all of those uh, video game tricks, we can actually appropriate ourselves the entire machine. And when we do that, it actually helps you to control how much work gets done and how it gets done. And this is the fundamental of doing a good tablet on, 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 on Windows 7. You have to control what's happening in the background. You have to control what's happening in the foreground. I'm going to show you how we can share media across a tablet and a PC connected to a TV. So I have media here that I can go and see, as I showed you before. And here's a picture I really like, and I want to share it with people in my living room. So I just go and share it. And you can see on the TV over there, is shared, I can manipulate the TV, zoom on the TV and basically show to people what I like. I can share another picture, oh, here you go, another one, same, I can control. And then since we are into sharing, we can go and share, uh, so we have videos here, I'm going to be sharing a video. Here we go, over there. I'm going to share another one. You can see I'm manipulating them on the TV over there, no problem. It's very smooth. This is a PineView tablet. This is a tablet that was shipped last year, about 18 months ago. And this is a fairly good hardware already. You know, the, the cores are very fast. Uh, the graphic chip is, is very fast, very capable. Can do uh, all of those things in real time, no problem. And then here's a new one, which is the Atom of this year, which we call Octrel, and you can see this is the same speed, the same level of performance, it's there. 
it's all good to go. Uh, there's a little difference in between. This one will last about three and a half or four hours to do that, and this one will last about 10 hours to do that. And that's a huge improvement in power. So fully interactive things, and if you look carefully, that's Windows. And I can return to the program as fast as I came out of it. There you go, and it's back up and running. Yep. You look at the thing and you say, that has to be possible, but how? And then you start looking at the program, you start measuring boundaries, you start measuring how much you can do with a GPU subsystem, with a CPU subsystem, and then you figure out the discrepancy between what people experience every day and what's actually possible. And, and when you get this discrepancy, you can actually analyze it to a point. You can say, okay, so if I change this is what I'm doing, I will get that much faster.